ahead introduce yourself to the people. Okay, I'm Brennan McCloy. I'm a delivery driver here at Hot Walk Chinese Restaurant. And uh, Chinese people, I like them, but they drive me fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Why they drive you crazy? Because they blow up my damn phone all the time. That, no, hold on. Seriously, shit. This is some serious shit. They blow up my phone so damn much that my external speaker on my phone stopped working. Because they call me so fucking much. Brim, we have oil. Brim, we have oil. Brim, we have oil. Brim, we have oil. I'm dead serious. If I, I have to get a new phone. And they ain't even going to give me the money for that shit. <laughs> All right, let's knock these questions out. Knock them out. All right. Same question I asked him. How would you feel if your pinky toes were the biggest toes on your feet? I would feel like I could get a side job at a circus. You know, one of those little sideshow tents type shit with the bearded lady and the snakehead woman and shit. I could probably get a little gig doing that. Balling out. Yeah, balling out of control. <laughs> All right. What's usually the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning? I want a blowjob. <laughs> with, the, with the stoic face, just the, like that. I, I, no, I'm dead serious. Like, <laughs> I was like, man, this, you know, like, hold on. When you wake up in the morning, right? Yeah. Check it out. Wake up in the morning. Morning sex is, is best for me anyways. But I have sciatica with bad back. Like, when I, so when I first wake up, I ain't ready to do shit. I like the shit done to me, though. So, like, blowjob be perfect in the morning. That'd be first thing. I mean, would you rather wake up to an alarm clock or a blowjob? It's your pick. Which one would you blow do? Job. Blowjob. Blowjob. 100% of the time. 100% of the time. All right. When was the last <laughs> time you cried and why? I cried um, when they took Tom and Jerry off the air. I'm dead serious, like, no, seriously, you know, like, I really, really bald, you know, like, I had a little few man tears, you know, when I watch TV, you know, some sad shit come on, I'm like, okay, time to watch UFC now, so I'll stop feeling like a bitch, but, like, the <laughs> last time I really, really, really cried, you know, I was, like, 10 years old, and there was no more fucking Tom and Jerry reruns. All right. And how do you respond to bad breath? Smack him in the mouth <laughs> with some toothpaste. Or you could be like, Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we go in the bathroom and brush your teeth? Or, you know, something. I mean, you know, like if, if someone has bad breath, they should know because you can't. A lot of, you can't smell your own breath, and nobody really wants bad breath. You know, so if they want good breath, you give them a solution to the problem. Right. Look, if they ate Cheetos, man, you got to give them a pass a little bit because they didn't really have time to get take care of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was just hungry. They didn't get a blowjob in the morning, so they had to go for some Cheetos. <laughs> All right, if I had a booger in my nose right now, one, would you tell me? Two, what would you say? I would say shit. I'd just pick it. <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, here, you got a booger. Yeah. Wipe out your shirt. Here you go. It's over with. Get some hand sanitizer. Right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what inspires you? Blowjobs. <laughs> They, they do. Like, I'm serious. Like, I, I, I have, I'm sorry, I, there's some people have, like, I'll, and coffee too, but like some Blow people. Blowjobs and coffee. Yeah, they really do. They, 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 Killer they tight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, I, I've really had epiphanies, you know, like genius moments, like thoughts after I blew a wad in the chick's throat. I, I really have. Awesome. All right. What do you consider a hater? Someone who doesn't get blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm if, you know, you, you come across you some chick and she's like, and first thing she says, like, I don't give a hit. Like, you hate a bitch. I don't even want to fuck with you. You're boring. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to keep it moving. All right. Who killed hip hop? The record industry did. When they when they started it as an industry, when they, when they decided, okay, we have to, we don't have artists. What we have are people who we're going to call artists who don't really create shit. So what they, we're going to do is we're going to get them in the studio. They're going to record 100 tracks. And the ones we think are most marketable are the ones we're going to put on the album. And we're going to mass produce the fuck out of them. And, and if they don't sell, we're going to throw them away. And give them and have them put out another album in a year. Right. Or, you know, and, and here's the deal. is like, or, or, you know, take what KRS once say, you know, uh, when he was talking about rappers and, and hip-hop artists the thing is like the best-selling artists are never the best artists and the best artists are never the best-selling artists Absolutely. that's a fact you know what i'm saying and, and and the reason why he could point it out to a fact is you're not really creating art what you're doing is replicating something that has been marketable in the past and so now 
you're not really creating an expression of yourself. What you're doing is you're creating something you can put dollar signs to. You know what I'm saying? And, and you see that with everything. If you go to McDonald's right now, they'll sell you a piece of shit hamburger that you don't really like, but it's going to fill you up for a little bit. But if you go to your house and you bust out with some hamburger meat, you know, and some lettuce, tomatoes, whatever the fuck you want on it, you can always, every time, make a better burger than McDonald's. But they will always sell more burgers than you, no matter how good you make them. All right. That's, that's real. What are three things you can't live without? You cannot live without water. Uh, I, I, I f don't think you can live without sex, or you would want to. I'd probably, should, you know, <laughs> I'm not getting laid. So water, uh, no sex. And uh, I, w I would also say you have to have some type of, because you, you can live without food, but I, I really believe you have to have some type of social interaction with another human being. Um, that, that's what those are the three things I, I know I couldn't live without. All right, what makes you different from other people? I think. All right. Most people don't. They don't. What they do is they they store other people's ideas, and they try to produce them as their own because they've been convinced to to think like that. But they don't really think. What how I define think is you 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 look at something and you really analyze a problem. You analyze solutions. You analyze even social interaction. You know, people don't really analyze shit. They just accept it, and that's what makes me different. All right, what do you like? <laughs> what do you like the most about living in Lawton? Uh, we have mountains, um, they're, and they're really cool, actually. But and it's not in Lawton, but it's very, you know it's very close to Lawton. So if you ever wanted to go out to Wichita uh, Wildlife Refuge, they got like a town there, Medicine Park. They got beautiful mountains, and uh, it's just gorgeous to get away from people. And only thing you have, I mean, you can see everything. You really can see into Texas. It's it's like you're um, it's, as far as Lawton is concerned, you're on top of the world. You, you, it's it's a beautiful sight. All right, and what do you like the least? people here uh, I'm dead serious like the women give a sorry head uh, the dudes I'm, I'm dead serious the, the, the dudes out here here's the shit real shit they'll stand in front of the liquor store and they fucking ask you for money all day in the heat in the heat but here's the Come deal on. you got the same people that always always for years and years are out here bumming like I can see if you are if you down on your luck for a little bit but if you live consistently in a down in your luck lifestyle there's something really wrong with you, and there's a lot of motherfuckers here like that. What do you do for entertainment? I get blowjobs. <laughs> I, 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 seriously, women are, are the best entertainment a man is ever going to find. Seriously, we do. We, we spend money on. We, we we you know we try to impress them as much as possible. Uh, and someone call a trick, and I just say that's normal human biology. Um, you know, like as far as a man is concerned. Like, my, my entertainment is the female of the species. Love them, love them, love them, especially when they're naked. That's, that's my ultimate form of entertainment. Uh, second form of entertainment is poetry. I love poetry, love listening to it, love reading it, love writing it, love reciting it. That's what I like. All right, what's your favorite cuss word? Fuck. All right, if you have, <laughs> it is everybody's favorite cuss word. If you have one wish, no, more, no wishing for more wishes, what would you wish for? And I'm sure it's going to have something to do with blowjobs. You could buy a lot of blowjobs with it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I would definitely say a, a bank. I would want a bank. Boom. That's a good one. All right. And how do you want to be remembered? As someone who just spoke his mind. All right. Finish this sentence. The best part of waking up is? Getting a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> We've covered that uh, uh, in, in a different uh, way. Yeah, we covered it. Yeah, all right. Um, what pisses you off? Oh, did I say that? No. Yeah, what pisses you off? Stupid people. There's a lot of them, so I get angry really uh, multiple times a day. Yeah, just just stupid bullshit. Uh, you know, just someone asking you a redundant question. You know what? No, the last thing that really pissed me off is like a couple weeks ago it was raining, like really raining outside. I'm pumping gas. At stripes, and this dude really is pumping gas at the pump next to me. Ain't even worth your camera time, bro. But uh, anyways, like pumping gas next to me, and asked me, he says this. So how about that weather? It's raining. Water falls out the sky. It does that. And that's my <laughs> response to him. He says, why do you have to be a dick? I was like, I was just explaining something to you because I really didn't know if you were retarded or not. <laughs> 
You know, and so when I when I have to explain something to someone who I feel is retarded already, that shit pisses me off. Stupid people, people just continuously act stupid, do stupid shit. It pisses me off. All right, now, if this was the last time anybody was gonna see you, what would you want to be remembered for saying? Say it now. Get as many blowjobs as you can, and remember this: you will always lose money when you're chasing women, but you'll never lose women when you're chasing money. And sing.